Hello, welcome back. My name is Briar. Welcome to day four of NaNoWriMo 2022. According to the NaNo website, if you want to be meeting the goal of 50,000 words in 30 days, you should be about 6,607 words by the end of the day today. How are you doing on that? Are you meeting the goal? Are you like me and you haven't even hit the goal for day one? So I still have under 2,000 words in my NaNo document, but you know, we're, we're still going, we're still working on it. We're not here to talk about me today, we're here to talk about you and how you are writing your NaNoWriMo. Are you using the Save the Cat Beats to write your novel this month? If you are, then you've probably already gotten the first two beats knocked out of the way. You've written the opening image and you've kind of maybe gotten the theme stated beat set up. If you want more information about those, you can see the previous videos in this series about writing the nano beats. And today we're going to cover the next two, the setup and the catalyst. Before I explain exactly what those two beats are and how they are connected with writing NaNoWriMo, let's go remember what the first two are. So the first one, the beat of the opening image, we saw our hero. In the examples I include at the end of these videos, that is our novelist, the person who's writing for the month. And we saw this character in their everyday world, their flaws, where they're starting from, how they're doing, just a little, little peek. In the theme stated beat, beat number two, we saw a conversation with our character and their roommate, someone who's outside of the plot, really, who is just sort of looking at this character and being like, all right, well, if you want to do this, then you kind of got to learn something. In this case, our hero might have to learn that this is not going to be an easy path forward. It's not going to be easy to hit the marks and just smooth sailing all the way through NaNoWriMo to 50k. So wherever your character is, they are still sort of developing. We're not sure who they are as a character yet, just from these two beats. Which brings us into beat number three, the setup. The setup is exactly what it sounds like, where we really get into the nitty gritty of who is this character, what is their world, what do they want, and why don't they have it yet? Because if they already have what they want, then there's no story. So for our novelist, this is more about like what's in their life that's holding them back from writing 50,000 words in a month, from winning NaNoWriMo, from finishing a project. For your character, it might be what's stopping them from falling in love, taking a trip, meeting the person that they want to meet, or achieving whatever dream it is that they have. And not only do we see this character going through their daily life, but we're getting hints of the things that are going to become obstacles later on, the things that are going to stop their forward momentum. So the setup is very important because without it, then our character is someone we don't care about in a world that we know nothing about and doing things that, I don't know, what, why do we care again? So the setup is our first multi-scene beat. It can be an extended narrative going through every detail of this character. And in NaNoWriMo, when you're trying to hit a word count, maybe your setup is quite long. Editing and making it more concise is for later. But for your setup beat, maybe you're exploring just, you know, a day in the life kind of story. Another thing that's really important to remember in the setup is that this is not supposed to be like a dream life. We're not setting this character up in a wonderful, wonderful world. We're setting them up in a place where they're sort of stuck. They're in stasis. They're not changing. They're not growing. They're not developing and transforming as a character. They are just sort of muddling through it. And we want to show that this is not sustainable. Staying like this is not going to be okay, which is where beat four, the catalyst comes in. The catalyst is going to be that change, be that moment where the character 
cannot stay in the status quo any longer and they have to do something. Usually the catalyst is again a single scene where something happens to the character. You'll hear a lot of writing advice that says your character needs to have agency. They need to be the one making the choices, doing the things, moving forward in the plot. But the catalyst is the part where something happens to your character so they can't continue as they have been because something's been holding them in this place. Either they're comfortable so they don't want to change or they are maybe just not seeing how to move forward. So the catalyst comes and hits them like a freight train and they have to react to it. And that is the starting point of their transformation. So the catalyst can also be called the inciting incident. It's also the point where you are no longer able to continue as you have been. For our novelist, writing NaNoWriMo, usually you get a couple days in and something happens. Either you get struck by lightning of inspiration and you have been able to achieve the flow state. You've reached the good part of writing where you just want to keep going and going and going. That's 1,667 words a day. Easy peasy. You're getting it every day and more. Maybe it's the lightning strike of inspiration that is hitting your right now as you're writing and that's your catalyst. Maybe your catalyst is something less good, like you have been writing, you've been almost hitting those metrics, you're almost getting that 1667 each day, but then you get an additional project at work, or a deadline is moved up for school, or suddenly everything has to be done before Thanksgiving for non-writing projects and that's going to consume all of your life. And now you have to reevaluate whatever is going on with your writing life. So you make the, you have that has happened to you, that is your catalyst. Now you have to make a choice, but we're not getting into that beat yet. But something is changing in your life. Unfortunately for some people, you start NaNoWriMo with the best of intentions. You've got the plan to write the words. You've set a schedule. You are ready to go. And within the first couple of days, your life implodes and writing is no longer even on the schedule. You don't have time for that. You have to put it to the side because unfortunately other things have taken priority. Maybe that's your catalyst. Maybe that's what's going to push you forward not to finish 50k in November but to finish whatever this other thing that has derailed you from your want, which was to finish 50k. So your characters can also be completely derailed from their goals and what they want. What you want is to write 50k, life gets in the way and says, nope, you've got to take care of this, and there's no time for writing. What your character wants is to get a promotion at work and suddenly their office closes and they have to pivot into doing something completely different because they are no longer making money. Whatever's happening to your character, something turns on a dime, something changes, and their direction has to completely shift. So for the example of the setup and the catalyst beat, beats, today we are looking at our novelist who they've had the plan, they've set up their schedule, they are ready to do their writing, and we'll look a little closer at what their daily life is like, what's taking up their time, why have they gotten so far in some projects but never finished anything. We saw a little bit of that in the opening image. But because this is like a meta exploration of a novelist writing for NaNoWriMo, we're not going to get too deep into the setup of their life. We're not going to see who all of the people around them are, what their job is, because it's kind of meant to be a faceless character that any one of us can superimpose our life onto. And the catalyst, well, considering this is a story about NaNoWriMo, it's not going to be a full shift away from their want, because their want is to write 50k. And my want is to show the story of someone doing that. So they're not going to completely shift perspectives, but something is going to happen that's either going to push them further into their writing or pull them away from it. So let's look at what our novelist is taking on 
in the setup and catalyst beats. In a dark room, the only light came from the laptop screen, illuminating the novelist as they hunched forward. The screen showed a buffering screen until suddenly it was replaced by small windows opening in a group call. Hey, what are you in the dark? I'm late. Lost track of time, the novelist said. I was writing. Oh, how's your nano going then? The novelist smiled, teeth reflecting the light from the screen so they looked bigger. I met the daily goal, again. Cheers rang through the laptop speakers. Awesome. I need to get some more writing done when we're done here. You can do it. Yeah, maybe this time next year we'll actually get to read something you finished, huh? The novelist flushed. Their friends always hassled them about reading their writing, but it was never finished. They didn't want to share anything they would never write an ending to. Hey, you ever feel like quitting this time, I will not hesitate to make your character meet a word count to roll a dice. You're not allowed to give up. I'm not gonna quit. Well, if I want time to write later, we need to get moving. Yeah, where were we last time? Did we get out of the forest yet? Not yet, but we found the path to the mines. I'm gonna steal so much gold once we get in there. A soft vibration behind them drew the novelist's eye to their phone. An email had come in to their work account. They ignored it in favor of following the campaign ahead. They're off the clock anyway. Closing their laptop after they finally said goodbye to the D&D party, the novelist leaned back to fall into the bed covers. Their hand hit their phone, and with a grimace, they remembered the work email waiting for them. With a sigh, they pulled it open. They didn't need to reply, but curiosity would kill them if it, they didn't at least see what it was about. Good news! We finally got our closing date for our project. We'll be finished by November 23rd, so everyone will get the whole Thanksgiving holiday off to celebrate. That means we have to ramp up our efforts to finish on time. I'll be sending out an updated schedule in the morning, so keep an eye out for any changes. Finally, the novelist mumbled, glad that project would finally close. Then they bolted up right in their bed. Wait, ramp up? Schedule changes? Now? The carefully crafted schedule of writing time they had been coveting and protecting for the past several days flashed through their head. Oh no, how am I going to do this? Determination settled in their bones as they pulled up their computer to open their nano project again, despite already hitting 1667 words for the day. I'm not quitting again. I'm not. I'll just have to get ahead now and plan around whatever changes happen. They pulled up a timer and set it for 20 minutes. Time to keep writing. So there you have my example of the novelist writing NaNoWriMo, getting set up in their world, and pivot. Something's come up and they have to reimagine exactly how they're going to be moving forward. If this is you, how are you reimagining your schedule? Did you dream up exactly how you are going to fit writing into your life and now you're fitting it into different places? Guilty, definitely doing that. Let me know how your nano experience is going and if you found any of the exploration of these two beats to be helpful in the comments down below. I would love to see you in the next video where we're going to explore another two beats combined where we are going to look into the debate and the break into two. Hopefully that video will be up on Monday, might be Tuesday, we'll see where it goes. But that will also be the end of Act 1 and the end of Week 1 of NaNoWriMo. So how do you think you're doing in the beats of NaNoWriMo. Are you having smooth sailing or has something gone horribly wrong? I would love to hear about your experiences and don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to hear more about how these beats align with NaNoWriMo. Thank you so much and I'll see y'all in the next one.